So we would like to find uh, the length of the trajectory of the vector valued function given by this formula from t equals 1 to t equals e. And uh, to this end, we should uh, recall that uh, this length is given in general, uh, if you want to go from time t1 to time t2, by the integral of the uh, speed, meaning the magnitude of the velocity. And what is kind of interesting here is that uh, such integrals usually will be uh, pretty challenging because of the square root. And uh, as we did in a previous video, we will use uh, the identity a square plus 2ab plus b square equals a plus b all squared as a basis for simplifying uh, the integrand and getting rid of the square root. The, the idea is simply that uh, if you have a square root of a the perfect square of a quantity, then the square root and the square cancel each other. The uh, challenge will be to just look at our quantity and recognize the different components. Let's see how this is done. And I think it's going to make a lot of sense. So let's begin by finding the velocity, then take its uh, magnitude, and then simplified. So the velocity is going to be simply t square root of 2 and 1 over t. Everything has been selected so that uh, the speed can be simplified. So this will be the square root of t square plus the square root of 2 squared which is 2 plus 1 over t all squared. And then at this point, we need to somehow find all of these components in there. How do we do that? The idea is to think of this as our a squared, uh, to think of 1 over t squared as our b squared. And then we will need to have 2 times a b. Yes, but this is pretty straightforward because the number 2 can be written as 2 times t times 1 over t. And now everything seems to be working out. So this will be the square root of t plus 1 over t all squared, which simplifies to t plus 1 over t. And now the integral is certainly doable. So the length that we're looking for is the integral from 1 to e of t plus 1 over t, which is t squared over 2 plus ln of t. Uh, you, you might expect uh, here a ln of absolute value, but note that the interval of integration is in positive range, and there's no need for the absolute value. That's why it's being omitted. And we will have e squared over 2 plus ln of 1, uh, ln of e, ln of e is 1, minus uh, 1 square over 2 plus ln of 1, ln of 1 is 0. Okay, so again, this is the same thing as ln of e, and this is the same thing as ln of 1, just to make sure that we remember these simple properties of the logarithm. And of course, uh, this is the same thing as e square over 2 plus 1 half, which is um, e square plus 1 divided by 2. And that's all. Thanks for watching.